guys! Oh, wow! Oh, what a delight it is to be here! God, Burbank's weird as fuck! I love you! God, LA owes you a huge fucking apology! I love Burbank! I was with my asshole West Hollywood friends last night, and um, they were all like, there's nothing to do in Burbank. But I went to six different gothic Halloween costume stores. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys okay? <laughs> I'm not, because I went to six different gothic Halloween costume stores today. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just assert my physical dominance right off the top of that. I'm not, I'm not a very physically intimidating person. You have no reason to listen to what I have to say. I always look like I just escaped a cult. I really have to like... <laughs> I have a real where's daddy husband leader kind of vibe, and I just need to like set that. You, you need to know that I can like read, so that's fine. I have been going through a hard time. I'm going through a very uh, sad breakup. Um, he doesn't know it yet, but uh, it's gonna be rough. Um, no, he does. It's how. There's here, here. Here's a weird thing. Nobody knows how to talk to you when you're going through one of those like long-term breakups where you like share a life and a dog. So when you say so, they so people just respond with their deepest, darkest trauma that they probably shouldn't be sharing publicly. So you're like, oh, I'm going through a breakup, and they're like, oh no. But guess what? I always wish I never had children. <laughs> Mom, you can't just start. Um, it's fine. You know what I'm really lucky about? I'm lucky that I'm going through a breakup that around the same time that I also found anxiety medication for the first time. Holy sh raw dogging a, a breakup without SSRIs? No fucking thank you. Is anyone, is anyone else on meds? Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. So say, of course it was the same one who was in the gothic Halloween story. Let's say what we're on at the same time. One, two, three. Masculine. Cool. Uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm on Lexapro. I'm on basic bitch Lexapro. Real, uh, originally named after Lexi Pro, the first woman to announce she's taking a break from social media. And, uh, and fucking medication is wild. Like, cause it doesn't start working until after six weeks of, weeks of taking it, and there's nothing people with anxiety love more than waiting. So, it, here's, the, here's the thing though. I, I was trying to like, I really resisted meds for a long time, which is stupid. If you need medicine, take medicine, that's dumb. But I, I was really trying to wipe and knuckle it, like, no, I'm fine, I don't need anything. The way you do when like, someone you have a crush on recommends a TV show for you, and they're like, you gotta get through the first three seasons. The first three seasons are pretty unwatchable, but you need that context to enjoy season six, and that's where shit really gets popping, and you're like, I don't even like anime, why am I trying to fuck you? <laughs> A lot of women laughing at that. <laughs> then I went through the phase that I feel like most of California will relate to, which is the, I actually do have medicine, it's called weed. Weed is my medicine, cannabis is my mother Gaia, are you trying to criminalize my medicine? Because it's my medicine. <laughs> And then it was 8 a.m. and I was doing bong rips in the parking lot behind my apartment with an old Dorito bag between my legs and my phone on the ground playing the Great British Bake Off being like, THIS IS MY MEDICINE! <laughs> I realized weed might not be everyone's medicine. <laughs> Other things, I'm also a bisexual, I'm a bisexual lass. Woo! Yeah, woo. <laughs> Don't tell me that's the same person that also is on meds and went to the Halloween store. <laughs> I have a type! Um, people, sometimes people get uncomfortable when they hear the word, word bisexual. One of those people is me. I get uncomfortable. I don't like the word bisexual. I don't like that. There's word sexual in it. Like, every time I hear the word bisexual, I feel, I feel like a Republican immediately. I'm like, not in front of kids. Come on. Which is weird, because we're the B in LGBT. We're part of like the first four letters. Really feels like they shoehorned us in there to finish out that rhyme. Like, they needed us there, because without us, it just sounds like a drunk girl loitering at a bar. Like, can I get an LGT, please? An LGT. Thank you. I hope they play Timber, you know? <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that I wasn't always the uh, provocative vixen you see before you today. Um, yeah. <laughs> Where's the polycule? Will you fuck me? Um, I, I had my first kiss at summer campus, so many Jews do. And, uh, any other Jews here? Fuck. <laughs> I need to leave right now. I did the number one mistake, which is identifying yourself.
vomit on him out of social anxiety. Yeah, you think I needed meds, friends? And all of my Hillary Duff bed sheets, which is for sure the saddest part of that entire story. <laughs> I had cartoon Liz McGuire looking at me being like, how are you fucking this up? We tell you how to buy a bra. Um, I know. It's okay, because later on, I grew into my body a little bit better, a little less like Slender Man vibes. And um, it's still there, right? And I was allowed to participate in something called Camp Family Feud, where everyone gets to vote on very judgmental categories. That year, my sister got voted hottest female in camp, but I got voted third most improved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 